Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be something different. Um, I So I've done a couple like what I realistically read in a week's videos, but I'm gonna put a spin on it this week. So I'm going to be a three day music festival called ACL, Austin City Limits here in Austin, Texas. It's my first year going, I'm so excited, but it's three full days. So it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I'm gonna be there for like 10 hours each day. So I thought it would be fun to do a like realistic what I read in a week while attending a music festival. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm a little bit nervous. So I'm currently reading The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins. I have only just started this book. I'm not very far in right now, um, but I wanna see how much I can read like before I go, after I go, just really like when I have a busy week. So I'm kind of excited to see how much I can actually read. I'm also gonna be including videos from the festival. So I think that's gonna be really fun. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. It's definitely not something I'm gonna do a lot because let's face it, I don't go out that much. This is like a rare thing for me to go do. Um, but I thought it would be kind of fun. So. I don't really know what else to say. I have a feeling I'm not gonna be able to read that much or I'm not gonna want to after getting home, walking around for 10 hours. I'm just gonna wanna like lay in bed and go to sleep. But I guess we're gonna find out. So yeah, this is what I'm reading and let's just get into it. Okay, hi everyone. So it's a couple of hours later after I last talked to y'all and I've been reading The Girl on the Train still. This is the only book that I'm reading right now. I literally am getting like the weirdest pain in my arm right now. What is happening? I talked about this a little bit in my last video, but basically this book, also this book had a movie that came out in like 2017, 2018. I remember the movie coming out, but I never went to see it. So I have no idea what's gonna happen. Um, but basically this book is about this woman who takes the same like commuter train to work every single day and whenever the train like stops on the tracks to like switch tracks she can see the backyard of this like beautiful house on the same street that she used to live on so she i don't know she just like looks over there and she's been watching this couple for god knows how long she calls them jess and jason even though she doesn't know who they are like they've never met she can just see into their backyard while she's on the train and she's like obsessed with them they seem like they have the perfect life and she the girl on the train she just doesn't have the best life her and her husband got divorced and she's not in the best like living situation right now so you know she sees this couple and she like daydreams about you know this couple like i wish i had that and then one day while she's sitting there she sees something happen and then the train moves again and she's like what was that um and i don't know if i've gotten to the part yet or not like something did happen while she was watching but i don't know if it's the thing that the back of the book is talking about because it was like I don't know it, it wasn't like huge like I thought this guy was gonna like come out behind the wife and like stab her but that was not what happened so like I don't know if that's what happened um but I think I have gotten to the part like I think I did already read about what she saw so I'm not gonna spoil anything but I do like it um the only thing I don't like about the book is how small the text is like I'll show you it's very, very small compared to the last, like honestly, like 10 books that I've read. So it's a little bit harder for me to get through this book right now. Um, I'm only on page 62. And if it were any other book, I'd probably be done with it by now because I've been reading this book for like two days. So I'm struggling a little bit, but I do like the writing style. It's very good. And this book is based in London, I believe, which is funny because I usually, Normally books that are based in London or like a different country, it's funny to like see the slang that they use because that's not what we use here in America. But 
I don't know. I really like it. I haven't really run into anything that I'm like, oh, that's not how we talk. I don't know. Random thought, but I do really like it. I'm about to sit here and try to knock some more of this out. It's not that I don't want to read it. It's not that at all. It's just how small the text is. Like, why... Why could the text not have been bigger? The only good thing is this book is hardly over 300 pages, so it's not like it's a long book. But yeah, I'm gonna cuddle up here on the couch. I might open the door. I mean, it's like 9.13 at night, so it's pitch black out, and I do live on the first floor, so like, do I really wanna open the door? But I had the AC off all day, and I had the door open when it was daytime, and I kinda wanna do that again, but I don't know. We'll see, I'm gonna start reading. Hi everyone, it's the next day. Um, I'm still on this book, shocker. I don't know why I said it like I would have finished it. I was only on page like 70 last night, but I'm now on page 127. I actually got to read a lot last night and this morning. It was another beautiful day. Texas has truly been blessed the last like two weeks. So I think it topped out in like the high 70s today. So. I was able to open our door and turn the AC off. I literally freaking love the fall because I get to cut my electricity bill in half. Like the fall and winter is just money saving months besides Christmas, but loved it. Had the door open, me and my dog got to sit outside on, on our porch swing and just read. So I think I mentioned it in the intro, but I have a music festival this weekend. That's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I'm going to be there for like 10 hours each day. So it's going to be a very long weekend and I'm not going to be able to read at all unless I get home at like midnight and just want to read, which like, I guess I could, but it might only be like 10 pages. So I'm trying to get as much done from this book as I can. Basically where I'm at right now is Rachel, that girl who took that train every day to work and who like watched the couple, which I don't know if I even told y'all this, but so she named the couple Jess and Jason. She didn't know them. She just gave them those names because they looked like Jess's and Jason's to her. Um, but that girl Jess went missing and come to find out her real name is Megan. It's like Megan and Scott, I think. Um, so Megan is missing and Rachel, the morning after Megan went missing, keep in mind, they've never met, like they don't know each other. She just stalked them from the train. But the night after uh, Megan went missing, Rachel woke up at her apartment or her house or whatever. Could not remember the night before because she's a crazy alcoholic. Could not remember the night before, was blacked out, has a like bump on her head and then had like blood on her and stuff. So she doesn't remember anything. And she, stuff starts happening to where she realizes that she was in the area of Megan's house that night. So she's starting to kind of question herself, like, did I black out last night and like kill this girl? Which it's honestly like a really freaky situation to think about. Yeah, it's a really freaky situation to think about because that has happened before. Like people have blacked out and gone on like murder sprees. I swear to God it's happened. You can look it up. So yeah it's just the storyline is insane and rachel is literally insane like she literally went to her ex-husband's house who's like remarried now and they have a baby she broke into their house and like stole like kidnapped their baby all because she was still mad at her ex-husband so this chick's crazy but i really really like the writing i've never heard of this author before and i just i love the book i'm honestly so happy that I never saw the movie when it came out. I think in like 2017 is when it came out. Never saw it. So I have no idea what's going to happen. I feel like the book wants you to think it's going to be Rachel. Like she did black out and do something something to this girl. Out of like, I don't know, jealousy of like a good relationship. But I don't think it's going to be her. I really don't. So I'm very interested to see what happens. But I kind of want to make it to page 200 tonight. Which is like 63 more pages. So I'm going to sit down. I'm gonna read and try to get through this but I'll probably update y'all tonight or in the morning because after that it's gonna be three days before I can talk to y'all because I'm not gonna be like reading um so yeah I'm gonna sit down try to knock a good portion of this book out and then I will talk to you guys probably later tonight
Okay, so it's Saturday night. It is like 1 a.m. right now. Honestly, I think it's later than that. But I got back from the festival. Today was day two. I got back probably around midnight um, and I took a shower because I'm literally, or I was literally so dusty and just disgusting. But I actually decided to pick up the book and read a little bit. I did not know if I was gonna wanna read after these days. Um, tomorrow's the last day of the festival, so I need to go to sleep, but I wanted to update y'all on where I'm at. So I just read for like 20 minutes, and I'm on page 187 now, and it's getting really good. I still don't know who I think killed this girl. I have no idea, and I like when thriller books are like that. I hate when I can guess it, and I just have no idea. I literally have no idea who the killer is. I wish I could read some more, but I'm literally so tired and I have to be up at like 10 a.m. So I'm going to go to sleep and then hopefully tomorrow night after I get back from the last day, I can read and not have to worry about getting up so early Monday morning. Sorry for the like literal horrible lighting in here. Um, it's like midnight and I just have my lamp on so sorry about that but I just finished The Girl on the Train and guys this was a really really good book. I I don't know I did not think I was gonna like this book as much as I did but I ended up giving it four stars. I had to sit and think for a minute about what I wanted to rate it. It was gonna be three and a half and then I was like, you know what? Just because it took me so long, which wasn't even my fault because I had the music festival. So I think it took me, it took me six or seven days to read this. Um, but three of those days, I hardly got to read. So like, that's not my fault. Also, it is so cold in here. So I'm like trying to cover up right now, but the book was so good. The I said in a couple of the clips how I had no um, idea who like the killer was going to be um, and that I feel like the book was making it out to be Rachel. Let me just say it was not Rachel. It was actually the last person that I thought it was going to be. Like I, I feel like I suspected every character except for the person who did it. It was a crazy plot twist. Like it was actually crazy. And I'm now tomorrow gonna try to watch the movie because I just have to.